As for the classical two-level inverter, each switching state is uh, represented by a space vector in the Clark referential. In terms of voltage synthesis, a three-level converter, natural clamped uh, inventor, has more space vectors. The points ABC can reach positive half VDC, zero and negative half VDC levels. And ABC three phases can produce three cube three equals 27 switch states. We can use three letters to write down ABC phases voltage, level P for positive, N for negative, and O for zero. And these vectors can be grouped by length, large, medium, small with three zero vectors. Let's draw the large vectors, for example, PPN. VA is half VDC, VB is half VDC, VC is negative half VDC. The combined space vector V is two-thirds VA plus VB angle 120 plus VC angle minus 120. This is third VDC uh, 1 plus angle 120 minus angle minus 120. Let's draw this uh, on space. We can see the combined vector is uh, 2 angle 60. If we put all the large vectors in the space, we get a hexagon like this. Now we do the same calculation with a medium vector PNO. Same way we draw the vectors and get it to be root square 3 angle minus 30. We draw all medium vectors in the space. The last group is the small vectors, for example POO. The vector is 1 angle 0. This vector is also the result of ONN. We can draw small vectors in the space. We now have uh, all vectors. We need to standardize the reference vector V ref angle alpha based on these uh, 27 vectors. There are many ways. Here I present one. We reduce the three level into two level by dividing the big hexagon into six smaller ones. Let's uh, take a look at the right small hexagon. We can shift the reference vector by adding a small vector and v ref2. v ref2 times tz equals uh, v1 t1 plus v2 t2. And v1 is pnn minus onn. v2 is pon minus onn. We can have uh, the final result v ref times ts is pnn times T1 plus PON times T2 uh, plus ONN times T0. V ref2 can be calculated exactly the same way as in two level inverters by this formula. In the formula, the reference is uh, the rotating feed reference source equals uh, 3 over 2 V reference uh, of phase voltage. The sign pi over 3 is uh, square root uh, 3 over 2 and the VDC is uh, the half since we have a smaller hexagon we can get uh, the final formula with uh, the subsector U. Now it's time to decide on the PWM. We can follow the V0, V1, V2, V7 pattern like in two level inverters. ONN can also be replaced by POO. They split the T0 evenly. We have S1 on when it's P, S2 on when it's O and P. Now the PWM is produced for sector 1 in the small hexagon 1. We can get other sectors U for this hexagon 1 for phase A. Other hexagons can also be calculated in the same way. Let's see in the second hexagon, we have V1 equals PON minus PPO, V2 equals PPN minus POO. PPO is also ON. For its first sector, we can have 
also the switching series. But how do we know which hexagon to use? We should see which hexagon and which subsector our vector is located in. If the reference vector falls into the zone from minus 30 to 30 degrees, then it's the first small hexagon, and from 30 to 90 is the second hexagon. And each hexagon has a 60 degrees shift. This can be translated into a truth table where uh, VA, VB, VC references are evaluated. For example, when VC is positive, while VA, VB is negative, the sound axis vector falls into the fifth hexagon. Now we should see which subsector. Let's say the first hexagon. We have C sector 1.1 to 1.6. If the reference decomposed VQ is negative, VD is smaller than the small vector third VDC, we have sector 1.4 and sector 1.5 possible. Now we just need to compare the angle between VQ and the third VDC minus VD. If it's bigger than 60 degrees, we are in sector 5, otherwise sector 4. These three conditions are the criteria to decide the subsectors U. We can now decide the T1, T2, and T0, and also the switching patterns. Here is an example of MATLAB implementation. First, the reference DQ, also called alpha beta in this example, are derived from phase voltage ABC. Then here a truth table is used to decide which hexagon and uh, the condition is VAVB VC's polarity. Here the author also shifted the central point of the hexagon according to the hexagon indice, which will be easier to calculate the V1, V2 and the reference angle. This block calculates uh, the subsetter. The criteria is the VD, VQ's polarity, and their aptitude ratio to square root 3. Now we can calculate the T1, T2, and T0 since we know which sector and which V1, V2 to use. To generate the PWM, we need hexagon indice and the subsetter index to say the optimal switching pattern and the attribute correct T to each switch. There are many other ways to generate the PWM. For example, we can also keep the sector as in two level inverters and then divide each sector into four regions. Here is the, the MATLAB implementation. First, the reference DQ, also called alpha beta here, are derived from phase voltage ABC. Then the sector and region are calculated based on angle. Then it's the calculation of the duty and the switching patterns. Mm -hmm.